Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a haul video. So, yep, I went to an estate sale. I picked up some items. I'm going to be bringing them to you during these, um, you know, mixed in with the buy it nows. I'm going to be having shop my hauls. So these are items I would normally bring to live sales, but I'm going to be doing just kind of a show and tell of the items I'm picking up at um, various estate sales, Goodwills, all that good stuff. And if you see something you're interested in, you can shop my haul. Um, I'm going to put a number up associated with each of the items, just like I do in the Buy It Now. And if you're interested in that item, uh, put it in the comments below and uh, I'll reply back to you and, and we'll talk about, you know, the price and everything. Um, and if you have not subscribed to my channel and you do enjoy buy it nows and haul videos and live sales, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell and change it to all so you'll be notified when I put out new videos and when I go live for my sales. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right. So as I mentioned, uh, this stuff is from um, an estate sale. It's kind of associated with a thrift store, but um, they do get donations and they do also do some estate sales. Uh, so this is kind of part of that mix. Um, so up first here, it's going to be a little hard to see because it just wants to show the glare. This is like... Um, I don't know, it's kind of like cork and possibly some other natural materials in here under glass that create this image. And I'm going to open it up so you can see the nice, um, nice uh, lining in here. And so this is a series of nesting boxes did have some kind of a sticker on the bottom. It is that nice lacquer. And although it does look black, you can see that there is some, like a burgundy color in there. And so that is the first layer. Here is the second layer. Look at that cute little panda. This one is a lot more of a burgundy color. And we're going to open that one up black on the inside with that pretty liner again. And then, yep, there's another layer with a crane. And oh, that is it. So a three level nesting box. We've got the crane, the panda, and then the beautiful village. So there we go. We're going to call this one number one. And again, this is a shop my haul video. So here is a terracotta heart shaped trinket box. Beautiful condition. And look at those lovely flowers. All the way around, it has the white flowers. And then this one has like a, like a calla lily of some kind on it. Really cute design. Just a small little heart-shaped trinket box. No signatures or anything on the back that I could see. And this one's going to be number two. Okay, next up, oh, look how pretty this one is with those beautiful poppies on the inside. This one is hand-painted Nippon, and it does say that those are California poppies. But hand-painted Nippon is so nice. A lot of times when you're feeling, you know, paint, you can feel, you know, the paint sitting on top. I'm going to say I don't quite understand the technique, especially for older Nippon. 
but it's like you rub your hand across here and it hardly feels like anything. I don't know how they do it. Um, there is like a little bit, maybe paint loss missing in a couple of spots right there and there. But for a piece that is, you know, well over a hundred years old now, okay, couple little pieces of paint loss do not take away from the beauty of this, this piece. And so, yeah, I had to pick that one up. Oh, and this one is going to be number three. Okay, then I had to pick up this beautiful lusterware teacup and saucer. Look at that great bird on it. Now, what's funny is that this is a souvenir piece made in Japan, uh, probably, you know, yep, right around the 1930s on this one. Look at that. I think it's Aurelia, Aurelia, Canada. Now that is some kind of a sticker. Not even going to try to take that one off, but it does have a little sticker on it, but little Demitas size coffee cup, tea cup, but I oh, love that bird. And then the beautiful flowers. That is so neat. So this made in Japan lusterware souvenir. Who knew? Uh, this is going to be number four. And I have not looked up to find out where Aurelia is yet. <laughs> that will be on my to-do list. I have a beautiful ginger jar. This does have lots of praising on it. It's a little mini ginger jar. And let's take a look at the flowers. Oh, they are so nice. And you can see that there is a beautiful peacock in there also. Lots of different colors of flowers. And then we've got the lovely peacock. And it is marked with the Otagiri or Otagiri. Japan mark on the bottom. And this ginger jar is going to be number five. Then I've got this lovely little, I don't know if it was an ashtray or a trinket dish. You know, it's got these little slots on it. Kind of makes me think maybe originally designed as an ashtray but way too beautiful to be used as one um, it is marked made in france hand painted i have not looked up uh, this symbol yet to see if i can find who made this i have a feeling that might be a key so Yep, a little bit of research on this one to see who made it, but oh, that is so well painted. Beautiful little dish. And this one is going to be number six. Then I have a choken. I love picking up choken. This one has a hummingbird on it. And it does talk about you know, what is Chokin. So what they do is they use a copper base. Here is, you can see anything that's kind of pinkish is the copper. Then they engrave the copper and they put gold and silver in here for the coloring. So you really get just the gold, silver, and copper elements for the coloring. It's just a nice size trinket dish. Beautiful condition. It is made in Japan. And this one is going to be 
number seven. Okay, then I've got, holding this up real carefully here. This is a salt and pepper set. And this one has four holes. Comes on this beautiful tray. And I do believe that this is Polish pottery. Oops. Yep. So beautiful Polish pottery salt and pepper set. This one is going to be number eight. Then I have another little ginger jar. It's about the same size, does not have the crazing the other one does, but some lovely bright colored flowers. In very nice condition. This one also has the Otagiri, Otagiri Japan mark. And this one is going to be number nine. Okay, this one is a really special item. So it is this beautiful tray. Here, it's got two handles there and there nice wood tray felt bottom it does have glass is that glass yeah glass someone did turn this into um, a little hanger here so you can hang it on the wall there is a little bit you can see up here moisture damage So very possible someone did use this as a tray at one point, maybe had a little spill. I'm going to see if I can read the bottom, which I actually have not read yet. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, it does say April 1871, and it is, okay, it's a Parisian... Peterson's magazine. Let me see if I can get this in here close. There, so very old, 1871 is when. Uh, this piece of paper is from, and then it was put in this beautiful tray. And this one is going to be number 10. Okay, then I had to pick this up. Look how beautiful that is. The Encyclopedia of the Horse. Big book. But as I was looking through at all of the, let me see if I can hold it up here and show some of these gorgeous pictures. Those beautiful horses, all different kinds of horses. But yeah, had to, had to pick that one up. So beautiful with all the horses. And this one had 200, about 250 pages. That was really good. Uh, so this one is going to be number 11. And then I was lucky enough to find a couple of puzzles. 
Now they have been sealed with tape. I have not opened them up and counted the pieces yet, uh, but cute designs on here. Look at that little colorful town. That one is so cute. And let me see if it says the size of the puzzle. It shows the piece size. Oh, here it is. So it is 21 by 15 inches. There we go. And this one is going to be number 12. And then I've got one more item to show. It's another puzzle. Look how pretty that one is. So that's an actual painted building. Beautiful reflection on the water. 500 piece puzzle that is seeing if it said there, but it does say over oops here 18 by 23. And this one is going to be number 13. <coughs> Excuse me, number 13. All right, so that was a fun little haul that I picked up. Watch for more of these kinds of videos to be incorporated in with my Buy It Now videos. Still shopping, just a haul instead of uh, something a little more structured and themed. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items before I bring them to the live sales, just let me know and uh, you can put the number down below and uh, I will uh, I'll communicate back and forth with you. And if you have questions, you know, just general questions on any of the items, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. I still have some questions on some of these items <laughs> that I'll be doing just a little more research on. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.